myths and legends, things that chill our bones and tickle our curiosity, reality or just something we inherited through history. Are you ready to find out about something new? Poznanovec, a small village in the continental region of Croatia, is an idyllic small town, but it holds a dark secret that haunts its locals to this day. Do you believe in tortured spirits that haunt the grounds they used to live on? If you don't, maybe this will change your mind. Our story begins in a castle. No, it is not a fairy tale. It is something far more sinister than that. But for the sake of the story, let's begin as if it was a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there lived a noble family ritter. After their parents died, siblings, Greta and Nicola, took over the care for the castle. Greta loved dogs and horses and kept a bunch of them as pets, while Nicola loved hunting and walking through their beautiful Lombardy Popper Park. The brother and sister never married, although it is said that Nicola was in love with a beautiful widow. In the rage of Second World War, their fate was about to be sealed. Enraged villagers, jealous of their fortune and furious about their own poverty, decided to take the land that was Ritter's family heirloom. They gathered in the middle of the night and went to the castle to end it all. To this day, no one knows who started the ride, and it seems no one will ever know. The story goes that Greta was shot on the stairs with a rifle and died instantly. But Nicola wasn't so fortunate. They tortured him before finally bludgeoning him to death with a blunt object. They say that on that night nothing was spared, not even Greta's dogs or horses. No one knows where their bodies were buried. And although there is an official grave, it is said that it is empty, because the real location of their final resting place will forever remain unknown to the public. From that moment on, the castle didn't belong to no noble person ever again. After the horrifying murder of Greta and Nicola Ritter, the castle was turned into a hospital for the blind, and those who remember say that the castle inventory was plundered to the point that they even ripped off the wood floors. But something remained, something tortured and without closure. Nicola and Greta. It is said that their spirits wandered the grounds, searching for justice. Sometimes, in the silence of the night, dogs can be heard howling at the castle grounds, and the faded lights of two ghosts can be seen walking through the Lombardy Park. What do you think? Are Greta and Nicola still searching for the murderers to be brought to justice? Or are they just watching the castle grounds until it finally collapses? Why can't they move on? It seems we will never know. For the end, you will hear a true story about the Ritter ghost sighting told to me by a close friend. But it is up to you to figure out, was it her imagination playing tricks on her, or was the encounter real? For the sake of keeping their identity, the names in this story will be changed. Sit back and listen closely, because the story goes like this. It was a hot summer night, and two friends, Iris and Anna, decided to take a walk through the village. They laughed and talked about everything that happened to them this summer and everything they had to plan for Anna's wedding. They were having fun and had no intention of going home so soon, so they decided to go and sit down by the football field that was built right by the castle, the old Ritter property. They sat down on a bench, talking and having fun, thinking they were alone. Suddenly, Anna stopped laughing and froze up, looking at something in the distance. In that moment, Iris turned around only to see the faint light gliding towards them. Both women stood up, scared to death, but the curiosity got the best of them. They stood there, frozen, observing the female figure approaching from the castle grounds. They said that somehow they just knew that it was Greta. Her hair was pulled up in a bun and she had a small hairpiece on her hair. Her dress was not of this time, and the women said that even the lace on her umbrella could be seen. Once Greta's ghost came close enough for them to see every single detail, 
Even in the faded light on Greta's stomach where she was fatally shot, Iris and Donna screamed. In that moment, Greta's ghost disappeared, and two women ran home, barely believing what they just witnessed. The next day, two women met again, hoping that the thing they witnessed last night was just a dream. Unfortunately, it wasn't. So, there you have it. Tragedy that bound two tortured spirits to the world of the living. A myth or reality? Is this just a story to tell in the dark? Maybe we will never know. Until the next time, be sure to watch where you wander at night and remember, there is always something lurking out there. Hi guys. Be sure to comment on the video and hit that like button. Of course. We won't be mad if you subscribe. Nope. <laughs> Until next time. Uh, my name is Jelena Hervoy. And I'm Daniel Fikert. And this has been one of Croatia's legends and myths. So, spooky soon. Bye. Bye.